Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to the tour of One of a Kind Antique Mall, part four, given to you by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Here we are, we're going into the section that is referred to as the annex, but in this case, we're only doing the west end of the annex. Here we are, we're headed in towards it. Here's the actual portal uh, we enter into. There's a couple of booths on the way. It's a, the portion here is about half of the annex alone. The main floor is still to be done. It may take another three, uh, three of these videos to actually accomplish that. Some of the vendors up here, they have created vignettes to help uh, display their goods. Some have a little island of goods. Uh, some of the islands are bigger. It depends on the size of the booth. So some of these are fairly large booths. It allows them to put in large items as well. So you will see some furniture of older uh, vintage. And then others, they use it as a uh, studio in which they sometimes will actually teach folks how they're doing some of these crafts of refinishing of uh, old furniture, new furniture, new projects, creating something new from old, as the wording may say. So this is the area they do that in. Some door pushes. Some buttons, artworks. It's a narrow hallway, so it's kind of hard to look at them straight on. At least with the camera. Um, it's not too bad when you're standing there, though. This corridor it looks like it doesn't go anywhere because of the door, but there's a, the door is actually open, and it opens into this. A good sized room with a lot of furnishings, uh, some furniture and other accessories. So some of the nooks and crannies on this in this annex uh, can really give you a surprise. Uh, another corridor, that one actually goes out to the stairwell. You can't enter from there, but you can go out from here into the stairwell. Uh, you'll see, uh, because of the angle at which I can take the video, I've got some stills that are embedded into this video uh, of some cast still on concrete rabbits. I think they're concrete. They're heavy enough for that. Here's a pear. It's a good 12 inches. This one's about 8 inches in diameter. Height is about 10 inches. Uh, Westwood Avenue was, has been on the lookout for rabbits, but these were not ones she was interested in. So this is... Either way, you would have been provided the opportunity to see these. Now, these ones and twos refer to comics in um, plastic, clear plastic sleeves, and there's they're one dollar each or two dollars each, but they are all sealed up. 
and LPs of all sorts, uh, collectible glass and ceramic tins. Yeah, it's quite a collection they have up here. You do have to wander into all the nooks and crannies to actually not miss some of the things that you're possibly interested in finding. So honestly, this place will take a good amount of time to get completely through. One visit will surely not be sufficient to actually accomplish the task of searching in this building. As it is, uh, I usually tell folks it'll take you a couple of days of searching through to find all the nooks and crannies and examine things at length. If you just wish to just buzz through, similar to what I've been doing, yeah, you can do it, but it'll still take some amount of time. Uh, it's not it's not without investment. Some more LPs on the other side of the room, along with some artwork and some other ceramics. I, I thought that was an interesting sign that somebody created. Might be useful in someone's home for their guests. This is somebody, this is the same one that was, uh, I thought maybe was doing classes because they are selling su supplies, the paints that are used to do these crafts. Because I'm not going out into the stairwell, I've chosen to return through the same route, but on the opposite side of the aisle from what I had shown earlier. So here we've got somebody who specialized somewhat into toys, some more LPs and another one. There's a possibility that there is some repeat of this, but sometimes the uh, view from the other direction provides a whole different set of items it might be interested in. Ceramics and glass and metal and fabrics. Uh, I believe these are called Fenton. We'll leave it at that. And there were some matchbox cars in there. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, short piece of tour. Um, I hope you'll subscribe, ring the bell, and give us a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. Hope to see you on the next video and uh, watch for the others in between. Thanks a lot, folks.